Yo, it is March 5th, 2021, man. Uh, we're about to go to Boulder. I'm about to go pick up Lauren, and we're gonna go to Boulder to scout out some locations for our upcoming drop for the Spring in the Rockies t-shirt that Edward Joyner, the brand, is doing. Uh, obviously, you know, I wear Edward Joyner stuff quite often. This is just a little long sleeve. But we're gonna go to Boulder, Colorado, which is a little bit of a little bit of a ways, about 30, 30 minute drive from where we are right now. You know, this is this is the fourth vlog on the channel, man. So if you guys are enjoying the vlog series, this is gonna be one of the most ambitious vlogs that we do. Uh, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the video if you really enjoy it and you want to watch more content pertaining to fashion sneakers and art. Um, I'm gonna have chapters down below to kind of show you guys different, you know, segments of the video. So if you want to skip around, do that, man. We're gonna have some tunes playing in this video. So if you just want to play the video and just listen in man go ahead and do that all right let's let's get on to the rest of today's video it's lauren location number one let's get it Jippy. all right so this is location number one i think it's called bobo is it called Bobo Lake? It says Bobo Link. Bobo Link. I have no idea. Bobo Link Trail. Bobo Link Trail. So we're gonna see. Right now it's covered in trees. We want a good little mountainous backdrop. And it's really bright right now, but we're gonna try to walk and see if there's any better location. Yeah, open space, exactly. And uh, we'll report back to you guys. All right, so we're kind of walking around the first location, Bobo Lake or whatever, and we're not really finding a clear opening for pictures and whatnot. So what we're going to do is we're probably going to walk around maybe a little bit more, and then we'll make the decision whether or not we can actually shoot here for the Spring in the Rockies uh, t-shirt, essentially. Um, but yeah, we're not really seeing anything right now. So Too many trees. Too many trees, man. Like, y'all see all these trees? Yeah, exactly. We need to see... The mountains in one night. <laughs> All right, we're at our second location right now. And, oh my gosh. It looks like Look at this deck. Sorry, <laughs> this might be a little bit creepy. But Someone definitely is falling from that. Like, what is this architecture? <laughs> versus next to it? Yeah, the modern, modern. versus like the self made. The OG. Yeah. <laughs> the original. Okay. So we're at our second location, and um, it's a little bit dark. Let's see if we can get to focus on me. At our second location. The, our third location actually the second location was a bike park that we actually can't even go to but we're trying to find like a nice little mountain backdrop essentially for the shoot and this is a perfect 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 location for that um absolutely beautiful and i'll show you guys the mountains right now in the sun like that is well, let me get to focus focus oh yeah look at that okay boy you got the the nature sounds going crazy but man, yeah, it's beautiful. So, this might be it. We have one of the location. We have we pinned another location on the way over here. So, uh, pretty pretty happy with that. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is what it's like to live in Colorado, man. This is like my inspiration for my brand a little bit. Getting to see like, you know, how the how nature and how the mountains pretty much inspire some of the designs for the things that I do. And without a doubt, I mean, I absolutely love this state and I love living here and I love the the beauty of it. Honestly, it, it really is inspiring for a creative and artist for anybody. And so hopefully you guys get to feel that a little bit, you know. <laughs> you want to take off? This is going to be an amazing show. Let's get some food. Let's get some food. <laughs> things 
things that I don't talk about often is my luscious, beautiful hair. <laughs> uh, I'm about to get a haircut relatively soon. I wear hats so much just because um, I'm at a haircut in a year, literally. Since the pandemic happened, I've not gone to a barber shop because one, I've been wearing hats all the time. I started my own business, I'm my own boss. So I don't have to dress to impress anyone, really. And uh, I wanted to see how long my hair grew. My hair, like, it, like I used to like buzz it down the side, kind of. Um, but yeah, I gotta, get, I gotta get faded up. I gotta, gotta get a nice little haircut. Um, one of the things, let me pull these out. One of my favorite sneakers that I feel like are not getting enough attention right now are these Story MFG Reebok Club Seeds. I just wore them the other day. Um, and I'm going to clean them off because um, they have a little bit of mud in the bottom and I don't want the mud on them. But these shoes right here, guys, if you guys not, have not seen my review of these shoes, these are some of the most um, cool shoes because the inner lining right here, this is organic uh, cotton ripstop. So stops ripping and it's organic cotton. And then the upper is actually a biodegradable linen. That is incredible. I mean, come on. Come on. And that's just beautiful. And then Story MFG's kind of peace symbol. It's just a it's just a clean shoe. Like I don't know why, you know, it's not getting enough love. This is like a beautiful, sustainable product, and I love it. And y'all should tap into this shoe for real. And it's 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 pretty. You can get it for retail still. I think it's only $120, so it's a relatively good price. Time for a haircut, right? Yeah. Don't, Don't worry about a thing. All right, this is what my hair looks like before my haircut. From the side and from the front. All right, let's see what it looks like after. This is the after, man. I, I like this. <laughs> what do you guys think? I look better or worse after the haircut? If I look, if I look worse, let me know down in the comment section. <laughs> man, oh man, I feel like a brand new person. I mean, do I look like a brand new person? Anyways, it has been over a year since I've gotten a haircut, and uh, I'm pretty happy about this one. Definitely shortened it up a little bit. You know, look a little bit more. I don't know how I look. Tell me how you think I look. Honestly, I feel like I look the same, but same, same, but different. <laughs> but I'm gonna go shoot a video about Dickie's collection, uh, Dickie's A74s to be more specific. So if you haven't seen that video, be sure to add it to your, you know, queue. Make sure you watch it a little bit later. Um, but yeah, man, got a nice little cut. Got some drone shots today. It's a good day so far. It's a good day. Yo, what is good? It is the day before our shoot, man. So I'm super excited getting all the prep work done. Literally printed out an entire itinerary. I'm dropping stuff. Printed out an entire itinerary for the uh, the shoot tomorrow. We're gonna be going to Boulder, so that's gonna be really exciting. Even though Boko had a had an incident this last weekend with all the the CU kids, we won't even be by the campus or anything like that. But uh, I'm gonna be excited to show you guys that, man. The new garments are right over there. I don't wanna show it yet in the video. I'm gonna show it in due time, though. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the vlog, man. Um, I got a package drop off at UPS today, so I'm gonna take you guys with me. Um, yeah.
it is an absolutely beautiful day today man um shame i didn't get more time outside honestly just because how much you know i work and whatnot i actually have a video i'm gonna go home and record for you guys it's the uh, dickies carpenter pants so if you haven't checked out that video go ahead and check that out um put that on your queue you know what i'm saying put that on your queue after this video uh talk a little i'm gonna be talking a little bit about how the D dickies carpenter fans pants fit i don't know why i can't talk right now how they fit the feel of them quality all those kind of things that you would want in a review just talking to you guys about it so dropped off a package which means uh your boy is getting paid and that is always good and it's gonna have a nice little day i have a small hours call with ray and alex later on so that's pretty much this monday and uh yeah man so what's going on everyone It's tuesday march 9th um, today is the day of our photo shoot uh, for Edward Joyner, my brand Edward Joyner. We're going to be releasing one new product for the beginning of spring. We're calling it the Spring in the Rockies tee. I'm going to show you guys what that looks like in just one second. Right now I'm ironing it out, but what I'm going to show you guys is just the process of going through photo shoots. For this photo shoot, just because of, of COVID precautions and just wanting to be really safe, uh, Lauren and I are doing everything together, so we're, we're keeping it pretty much in-house for the business in terms of photography and for models and things like that. So I'm going to be modeling it. It's, it's really a direct representation of the, the graphic and the shirt is a direct representation of what I love to do. So I don't think it's, uh, I think it's, you know, there's no better person to do it than me. So I'm really excited about it. Let me show you guys what the graphic actually looks like and then I'll talk about it in a little bit. So this is the Spring in the Rockies t-shirt that we're going to be releasing later this month in March, around March 19th. Um, the graphic is in inspired by Jean-Jacques Sampé. This kind of art style is, is reminiscent of Sampé, the kind of daintiness, the, the bicycles, and uh, kind of being in the French countryside, but I kind of made it my own. Sampé is French, so I made it my own. Obviously, I'm from the Rockies. I grew up with the Rocky Mountains all around me. I love to go bike riding in the spring, guys. Like one of my favorite activities to do just to relax, you know, get some time off and just clear my head. I go bike riding. If you look at the details of the actual graphic, um, you can see we have a basketball in the basket. You know, we have different fruit elements. We have mere water bottles, books, mangas, things I love to read. Um, if you look at the shoes, I actually took the shoes and I kind of looked at a, a New Balance 990 V4 and kind of just drew inspiration from that and kind of made it to shoe that I wear really often, something I love to wear. And then if you look at the pant, um, just a nice little relaxed pant with a nice little relaxed hat. Obviously the, the gentleman on the bike is a little bit older and I kind of wanted to keep it, you know, kind of a classic kind of French vibe, but in the Rockies, if that makes sense. And so I love the graphic guys. And it's our first graphic with the actual Edward Joyner typography. Super excited about it. All of our graphics are milled and made in Canada. And so this is a six ounce, or about six and a half ounce, 100% cotton, milled in Canada, cotton sourced in the US, um, made within a 12 mile radius to keep the carbon footprint low. All those things are always gonna be on our website. And that's where how we source our garments right now. Super, super excited about this. I'm not sure of the MSRP yet, but this is what we're gonna be shooting today for the photo shoot, and I can't wait to show you guys our location. I think I, sh I showed it to you guys a little bit, obviously, but I can't wait to show you know how everything comes together, so I'm super excited for that. All right, so we are at the location for our shoot. Just got some shots done in the short sleeve. I'm wearing a medium right now. Fits really nice, fits true to size. Lauren is wearing a uh, small. small. Let's see if we can get the focus. And it looks it looks pretty good. Obviously, we'll show you guys the pictures. We'll show you guys the pictures and whatnot after everything is complete. It was a pretty good shoot. I, I forgot to actually record us like taking pictures and whatnot. Um, but I don't think you guys really need to see that, man. You guys will kind of see the result of the shoot on Instagram and whatnot. So we're super excited about that. And hopefully, you know, you guys get a little bit of snippet of what we do. Um, in terms of preparation for the shoot, we had an entire itinerary created if we can get this thing out where basically i wrote down every element of the shoe man um just to keep us organized and whatnot
So we just got our We just got our photo shoot done for the day. Lauren is laughing at me over there. Uh, with the white background. We use a pretty simple kit to make sure that the photos look pretty professional and then we have a nice little Canon 6, 6D, I think it's called. Lauren, throw me the camera real quick. This is it right here. One of the best cameras you can get for photography, absolutely. We have one of these, you know, mammoth lenses on it versus the camera I'm using right now. I use a mirrorless camera, so it's pretty, the sensor is pretty small. Um, but this one is, boom boom, it's fantastic. Um, for this collection, uh, as you guys saw, obviously, I explained it several times, um, but you know, we wanted to kind of elicit what it's like to be in the Rockies during the springtime. And so um, you kind of get that through the graphic and then uh, each graphic is hand, um, is not hand stitched on, but stitched on essentially, right? Um, I can show you guys that real quick. And so each one is stitched on essentially, as you can see by hand. This is, I actually had to redo it because I messed up my initial clip and I'll obviously clean up the extra thread and whatnot. But this is what it looks like, man. And then I'll put these, I'll put it on body for you guys at some point later on in the vlog. But super stoked with how these turned out. Can't wait to uh, show you guys on Instagram and whatnot. So, yo, so we're gonna be taking a look at the Levi 501 Strength to Fits. Thanks, Lauren. <laughs> uh, we can turn this one on too. But these are the pair that Lauren actually gave me. And uh, here, Lauren, I'm gonna have you take the camera. Okay. okay. It's, it's recording right now. Yep. Uh, so this is what they look like on body. They're humongo right now. Uh, hence the shrink to fit nature, obviously, yeah. was a shrink. And then, let's see, can you get some, some good little shots of the 501s? 30, 34, 30, 36, so they should shrink two sizes. Lauren thinks I'm a 32. I'm a no, 33. I mean, that's what you said. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, you, thought, you, thought, 33, you thought 33 was too big, but I think 33 is pretty accurate. But 32, hopefully it's around 32 and a half yeah. ish. And then 36, we'll go to 34. With 34. And then original, you got a nice little beautiful pair of. Denim boy, denim boy. Some raw denim. Some raw denim. Raw denim. <laughs> okay. All right, can you give us a review of the uh, the 501s? Yeah, so. The shrink to fits? Here we got some Levi 501 shrink to fit. Yeah. Right here. Yeah, give, right give here, a couple man. ASMR tabs. A couple ASMR tabs. Facts. You can tell the. Um, there's some double stitching on the pocket. Uh, I'm not sure if that's accurate. And then the classic Levi iconic tag. Mm. That's to show that it's this camera work though. I'm the um, yeah. original no BS pants here. Word. Um. So this is how it looks on. Obviously, like we have not shrunk them yet. This is this is the before. Before. They don't look like outrageously well, outrageous. No, I mean they're super long. Yeah. And like kind of baggy. Yeah. And then like obviously way too big, right? Yeah, I would need a a really nice belt. Yeah. So but before remember this. Let's and just stand here for a second to get the before shot. Inside out, throw them in the washing machine. And then what are we doing next? I'm just kidding. I have no idea. Uh <laughs> They don't need to be cleaned, really. They just need to be washed. Yeah. Just some, is it hot water? Yeah. It is hot. So temp? Hot. Temp. Should we do, we do extra hot? Mm. Or just hot? I think just hot for now. Okay, we'll just do hot. I don't think it needs to be an hour. I think 36 minutes. All right. They shrunk down. We're gonna let them dry. Just air dry, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hang dry, yeah. Obviously, they look really beat up, but they're gonna be perfect, hopefully. So the Levi's dried off. They feel like like some like kelp dried up. Like they feel so brittle to the touch. Um, but 
I think that's normal and they should be able to, you should be able to work them a little bit and get them to feel a little bit more comfortable. So, um, yeah, I'll try these on later when Lauren, when I see Lauren and we can just goof around with that. But, uh, have you guys been watching the new Netflix documentary, The Last, Last Chance You with the basketball team? We've been watching that and that is a, we, I love basketball and it's just fire. I actually, I love the Juco story, like, man, yeah. Anyways, these are, uh. We'll see what happens with these. Oh, we're back, everyone. These are the Levi's, the strength of fits. They obviously shrunk. They're like rock hard. They're right rock now. hard. Like, yeah, come here, come hear this. Yeah, you can. You guys hear that? That is crazy. Now can I? So, I'm gonna put them on real quick, see how much they shrunk. They're gonna feel like literally rock scraping up against me, but I gotta do what I gotta do. Okay, sensor. All right, the boy has them on. Wait, let me focus. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, focus. This is what they look like. Um, definitely shrunk. Yeah. And the length is pretty good. Perfect. The length is really good. Um, it's an interesting, interesting like obviously process like, cause obviously like it feels really bristle on my skin right now. But yeah, I mean they um, need to get worked in in order to feel soft. And I need to look at them in the mirror too, honestly, cause I honestly it's hard to really tell. But yeah. All right. Cool. What's up, y'all? It is Sunday, March 14th. No, no way. Yeah, March 14th. It is snowing like crazy outside. I was just doing some shoveling and I was like, why not come talk to the vlog, man? Give you guys a little bit of insight of what it's like to be in a Colorado blizzard. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm gonna go do some more shoveling, man. Today's not that special, not that crazy. Preparing for the drop, which will be this Tuesday. I'll post something on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. And the drop is on Friday the 19th, so super excited about that. Um, but man, let's go get some shoveling then, you feel me? like six inches of snow out there at least maybe more and but you got to get it in man i kind of i kind of like shoveling the snow because like it's for one it's therapeutic you got the you got the music on and then when you're done it's kind of nice to see everything all cleaned up and everything and then you know you're outside getting that burly working you know what i'm saying getting that burl and uh, it's kind of like a workout you know it's like a mini lift so but yeah it's crazy right now out there Yo, it is drop day, guys. We just had seven orders come in from the original drop. I just got done posting all the things on social media, on LinkedIn, on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter, on Snap, everywhere. I posted everywhere, man. So we had seven orders come in originally, like within the first, probably within the first 30 minutes of the drop. So that's pretty, that's pretty exciting. That's pretty um, promising. Hopefully we can get some more in. Uh, I got a lot of orders to pack, um, and hopefully you know it's a it's a good little successful drop day. It's it, it's successful already, man. I'm so happy with all the people who reached out, supported, who said you know I, I love the graphic. I, I really just appreciate each and every one of you guys who have ordered. And I don't know if there will be any available by the time this video is um, published or by the time you're seeing this video. Um, but if there are, I'll make sure to leave it down in the link below. Um, I put a lot of effort, put a lot of pride, and put a lot of love into the, the clothing that I make and the designs that I produce. And so hopefully you guys are enjoying the process of it, man. Hopefully it's been an interesting process, um, what I kind of do. If you have any questions, be feel free to ask about you know anything. anything. I'm willing to help anybody else who's a creative. That's what I do with my podcast. That's what I do in the DMs all the time. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited about today. This is the last day of the vlog, man. So this is like the capstone of it. Uh, for each shirt, I'm gonna have to individually um, sew on each label, and so I'm excited to do that. I'm gonna show you guys that again. I know you guys probably already saw that, um, but it's gonna be a lot of fun. And uh, thank you to everyone who's ordered. I really appreciate it. I will say this before we cut to the next clip, man. That 
you know, if you have a business, you're creative, or if you're, you know, starting to do something, you're trying to do, make something of yourself on your own, um, it can be hard. It can be really lonely. And obviously, the security of being able to know when you're going to get paid, knowing when you're going to have your paycheck, knowing, you know, all these things can be kind of damning on your mental. And so when you have a moment where you get, you know, seven orders, I, I, seven orders, uh, you know, I'm, I'm extremely happy about that. It, it's a step in the right direction. And I'm extremely grateful for each person because seven orders is not just like a number. It's people. You know what I mean? People spending their hard earned money on what you work on. It's incredible, man. So uh, I can't say thank you enough to the people who supported, like I said, and, um, we're just going to keep rocking. We have a, a lot more planned for the spring and summertime for 2021 for the brand and, uh, a lot more planned for the YouTube channel as well, but just stay appreciative, stay positive, get your hard hat on and keep working, man. orders are labeled that we got today we actually got a couple more so we have 10 orders in total which is great I'm really proud of that and then we have a package that we're gonna unbox real quick from smot smot <laughs> S-M-O-T that's from Georgia wait hold on don't, clo don't, don't close the door yet just in case something jump out of here <laughs> No, it looks like a sneaker box. It looks like a sneaker box. Hmm? Oh, that's just a cord. Let me bend this camera down a little bit so people can see. Can y'all see? Y'all can see. Smot, smot. Looks like New Balance is just sitting in some sneakers nowadays. Wait, what? I'm just kidding. There's no way. No, I do. These are... I. Yeah, these are some stock X. These are these are Olive New Balance three two sevens. What do you think? For hundred dollars. Oh, did you get me some? Um, I didn't, <laughs> but I can. You want some for Mother's Day? <laughs> I'm just playing. She ain't no mother. <laughs> See, I'm Mother F. I was playing. <laughs> I was just playing. Uh, but these are nice. I'll be doing an actual review of these, so Lauren will be back. Color. That, that color is fire. Huh? <laughs> Alright, we're supposed to have pot, or I was supposed to have a podcast at like three. I asked him to push it back to the 315. He ended up not responding, um, but I guarantee he'll probably respond tomorrow or we'll reschedule it, I know. It's probably my fault because I rescheduled it initially and I shouldn't have done that. We were just packing up all these orders. All these orders, man, so happy. And I'm so blessed, honestly, everyone who orders something day one, thank you so much, like for real. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, got those out. Probably gonna go drop those off and uh, relax with Lauren, man. But this is pretty much the end of the vlog. Um, thank you so much for, for watching the, this far in the video. Um, I'm gonna give you guys one more look at the Spring in the Rockies shirt if you have not seen it enough or have not seen it. So this is what we came up with, man. Don't look at me, focus on the shirt. Really proud of the graphic, honestly. Um, and I don't know, it's just been a good week overall. Like, obviously, like I said, I'll be doing a video on the 327s. Um, 
you know, connect with me on Instagram, those kind of things. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this type of content. Subscribing is the number one way to show that you enjoyed it, and liking is the number two way. Number three way is commenting something, but you can always comment something that's like negative. So um, you could say you don't like it in the comment section. I don't mind that either. We can have a conversation about how I can improve, man. That's what life's about. It's about it's about the improvement. But I'm gonna go drop those packages off, and then. Uh, That'll be pretty much the end of the vlog, man. But let's go drop them off first. <laughs> I just thought of an idea for a thumbnail against this wall. Let's see if it works. All right, ready? <laughs> I feel like I look so goofy right now. Okay. That's the, is that is that a good thumbnail, guys, or is this awful? Like, it could be a part of the thumbnail. I don't know. Maybe scoot over here a little bit more. Okay. These are all the packages from today, by the way. So I'm really, really happy about it. Oh, yeah. Also, also, we had our first order that's going to France. So that's the that's a first timer for the brand. Super excited about that. Um, we've had a few go to Canada and that's also really awesome too, but for one to go to France, like that is incredible, man. I, I just, it's incredible. It really is incredible. Time to get these orders done. <laughs> 